Hey guys, Micah here from ebikeschool.com and today we're going to be talking about which is better, a 48 volt or a 52 volt electric bicycle battery. Now to start this discussion, we have to go back and look at why are batteries available in these two voltages or why do batteries come in these 12 volt voltages to begin with. So most electric bicycles will come with um, you know, these 12 volt battery increments, usually starting with 24 volt, which would be a pretty weak you know, small e-bike, up to 36 volts, which is your standard you know, sort of medium power bike, and then on the top end, 48 volts, which is generally the upgrade to a higher power bike. Now there are of course you know, guys running 60, 72 volt, 96, all the way up there batteries, but the vast majority of e-bikes are in this 24 volt to 48 volt range. And this is really an artifact left over from the days of lead acid batteries, when lead acids were used for all e-bikes. Now lead acid batteries, the cells inside are rated at about 2 volts, so it was very easy to put them together in groups of 6, and then you've got 12 volt batteries. From there you can just make increments, you know, 24, 36, 48 volts, etc. And that's how those voltages came to be common in the e-bike world. Now in the last 5 to 10 years there's been this big shift from lead acid batteries, which are heavy and weak and you know don't last long, to lithium batteries, which are much lighter, um, they can last much longer, uh, they're more energy dense, etc. Uh, the problem is that lithium batteries don't always fit nicely into these 12 volt increments that were already in place due to the lead acid days. And that is because lithium battery cells are rated at a higher voltage. They're not 2 volts per cell, they're about 3.6 volts per cell. And this can cause some problems. Um, if you look at uh, 36 volt batteries, it actually works pretty well because you take a 3.6 volt cell, use 10 of them in series, and that gives you 3.6 times 10 is 36 volts. But now if you look at 48 volt batteries, the general convention has been to use 13 cells in series. But if you do the math and you take 13 cells and you multiply that by 3.6 volts per cell, you get 46.8 volts per battery. And obviously that's less than 48 volts. Now, the way that the e-bike vendors and manufacturers have basically solved this problem is to say, all right, let's not take 3.6 volts per cell, let's take 3.7 volts nominal per cell. Because the actual rating is somewhere in between there. You know, it could be 3.65, really depends on the cell. But if you take 3.7 volts per cell, and you multiply that by uh, 13 cells in series, suddenly you've got 48.1 volts. Perfect, now we're above 48 volts. We can call this you know, a 48 volt battery. The problem is that even though the voltage is rated at 48.1 volts, the actual voltage of the battery is gonna change during the discharge curve. So it's gonna start at about 54.6 volts when it's fully charged, but then it can drop down to the very low 40s, uh, even you know, 39 volts or so when you fully discharge a 13S battery. And that means that the majority of the time you're using that 48 volt battery, it's gonna be below 48 volts. So if you were to compare that to a lead acid battery, you'd actually have a little bit less uh, power because you'd have less volts from that lithium battery if it's 13 cells. So the interesting solution that became popular in the last, I don't know, three to four years or so has been to create what's called a 52 volt battery. So you just take one extra cell and you add it in series. So instead of building a 13S battery or a 13 cell battery, you build a 14S battery. And what this does is gives you one more, uh, one more battery cell and so you get another 3.6 volts added onto your voltage. So if you take um, you know, 3.6 volts as your nominal voltage, multiply that by 14, you get a 50.4 volt battery. If you use 3.7 volts, you actually get a 51 point, uh, that's eight volt battery. And so generally people have rounded that up and that's where you get the name 52 volt battery. So 52 volt battery comes from rounding up this 51.8 volts that you get from using 14 cells in series instead of 13 cells. Now there's a little bit of confusion because not everyone calls it a 52 volt battery. Uh, one big battery vendor, EM3EV, actually calls these batteries a 50 volt battery because they use the 3.6 volt nominal voltage which gives you 50.4 volts for your final battery voltage. And so they say, alright, it's 50.4 volts, we'll call it 50, the customer gets more than what they paid for. Uh, you know, generally this is awesome, it's the, it's the kind of you know, ethos I try to run my businesses by, but it's a little bit confusing in this case because you hear 50 volts on this side, 52 volts on that side, it sounds like one battery would be bigger than the other. In actuality, they're both 14S batteries, or using 14 cells in series, so it's the same thing. But we'll call it a 52 volt battery because that's what most of the industry does. Um, so now, what are the advantages of a 52 volt battery? Why would you consider upgrading? Now many people will upgrade from a 48 volt battery to a 52 volt battery mostly because it gives them two things, more power and more speed. Power in watts is just volts times amps. So if your amps are staying the same, but you increase your volts, you're also gonna be increasing your watts or your power. Also, 
electric motors, uh, the speed that they spin at is based on the voltage. So if you increase the voltage, you're going to increase the speed as well. So by simply increasing your battery from 48 to 52 volts, you're increasing both the power of your e-bike and the speed. And now pretty much every electric bicycle controller, the uh, ESC electronic speed controller that can handle 48 volts, can also handle 52 volts. Most of these are gonna have a maximum input voltage of around 63 volts, usually limited by the capacitors, but pretty, pretty much any e-bike part that's meant for 48 volts can also fit 52 volts, which is why this is a very popular upgrade, because it's very easy to just switch out your uh, 48 volt battery for a 52 volt battery without having to change anything else. Um, and this makes it so you can easily add that extra speed and extra power. Now there's one common misconception that people think this is an advantage of 52 volt batteries, but uh, isn't really the case. And that's where people often say that a 52 volt battery, when compared to a 48 volt battery, will um, run cooler and it will pull less current. Um, and that's, that's really not true in reality, and I'll explain why. The main reason here is that most electronic speed controllers for e-bikes uh, use an amp limit, not a watt limit. And what that means is that they're gonna limit your power based on the amount of amps that they're drawing from the battery. So whether you've got a 48 volt battery or a 52 volt battery, if your controller is a 20 amp controller, it's only gonna pull 20 amps maximum from that battery. And so people say, all right, you've got a higher voltage battery, that means that you can pull less current. And while that is true, you can get the same power by increasing the voltage and decreasing the current, in actuality, that e-bike uh, speed controller is not going to pull less current. It's gonna pull the exact same current it was before with the 48 volt battery. And so that means that you're actually using more power using the same current, more voltage, which means more power. And that's why you're getting that increase in speed because you're using more power. Think about it this way, it'd be impossible to go faster without a little bit more power, right? So it makes sense that since you're going faster, you're using more power and you're not actually using less current. So running a 52 volt battery, it's not gonna be um, you know, more efficient and then it's gonna use less current. You're still basically gonna use the same current. And it's not gonna run any cooler. People will say, all right, a 52 volt battery will run a little cooler than a 48 volt battery because it's pulling less current. But again, you're not gonna pull less current because the current is based on your controller, not based on your battery. So there are a lot of advantages, mostly the speed and the power advantages uh, that come with 52 volt batteries. But when people say it's gonna you know, pull less current or it's gonna run cooler, that's not actually the case and that's not really an advantage of a 52 volt battery. Now, are there any disadvantages of upgrading from a 48 volt battery to a 52 volt battery? Um, not really. The main disadvantage is just the price. Um, if you compare how much more battery you're getting, if you divide 14 by 13 you, uh, for 14 cells over 13 cells, you get about a 7.5% increase in battery. But many vendors, you'll notice, will actually charge more than 7.5% over the price of a 48 volt battery. You know, you think you're getting about 7.5% more battery, you should pay about that much more money. But if you calculate the prices on some uh, e-bike battery sites, you'll find that a 52 volt battery can cost you know, 10% more than a 48 volt battery, or 15% or even 20% more. And at that point, you're paying a lot more than the, uh, you know, the incremental amount of battery that you're getting. So at that point, it's up to you to decide, you know, how much more do you want to pay for this upgrade to be able to go, you know, a little bit faster and have a little bit of power. Uh, generally, you think that 7.5% more battery would be worth 7.5% more money, but sometimes this is seen as like a premium feature, so some vendors will charge a premium price for it. So that's something that you have to decide. Let's pause here for just one moment. There's one other disadvantage I forgot to mention while I was filming this, and that is just the charger. You will have to change to a different charger if you upgrade to a 52 volt battery, because the charger that came with your 48 volt battery only charges to 54.6 volts, and a 52 volt battery needs to charge up to 58.8 volts to reach full charge. So you will have to buy a new battery charger or you know, find a battery that comes with a charger. So that's just one other small disadvantage to upgrading from a 48 volt battery to a 52 volt battery. But at the end of the day, there's, there's not really one battery that's better than the other. Uh, if you can, um, you know, if you wanna pay the premium and you wanna go a little bit faster, you can upgrade to a 52 volt. Some would say that's better because you, know, you go faster, you get that more power, but if you don't need that extra speed, then it's really just sort of a waste. Um, the one thing that it'll give you if you're not trying to get more speed is you can get a little bit more range. Um, you know, 52 volts uh, compared to 48 volts is just gonna mean you have more watt hours, even with the same amp hour rating for the battery. But if you don't need that speed, you can just have a higher amp hour battery. So 52 volts, it's really better for the people that want an increase in power, an increase in speed, and don't mind paying that little bit of a premium to get uh, that increase in, in power and speed. 
So at the end of the day, there's not one that's really better. I personally use a 52 volt battery just because for me it's fun to get that extra, you know, two miles an hour or so on my e-bike. Um, but for you, it really depends, uh, you know, what's the right choice for you. Most uh, e-bikes come with a standard 48 volt battery, so if you don't want the extra cost of upgrading, then you can get basically the same features with the 48 volt battery, just a little bit slower and uh, you know a little bit uh, less power. But most people can't feel the difference. Um, at that point, it's just you know what do you want to be running on your e-bike? All right, the last thing to cover today is the winner of the uh, free book from last week's video, and that by a random drawing was JP, who is a man a few words. So thanks for commenting JP. Um, send me a private message here on YouTube. Let me know which book you'd like, either my uh, Ultimate Do-It-Yourself e-bike guide book or my DIY lithium batteries book. From this you can learn to build your own 52 volt battery. Um, for anyone else that wants to win one of these books, make sure you put a comment in this video. You can say anything you want. Try and keep it nice, but you know, say what you want. Um, and if you don't want to wait and hopefully win uh, one of my books from my next video, you can also find both of my books on Amazon. Just type in the title or search for my name and they'll both pop up. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Remember to put your questions in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you'll hit like and you can always subscribe to get uh, notifications for my future videos. Thanks for watching everybody.